Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in this video, we're going to be creating a web application, if you like, or a script that works um, in a similar way to this. Now, we have a text box here uh, in which we can type any data. So I'm going to say, the cat sat on the mat. In this box here, I can search for a string that I want to replace in particular. And then I want to specify what uh, to replace it with. So let's say I wanted to search for cat. Cat exists uh, here in the string. So I want to replace it with, let's say, dog. Um, or let's say monkey. <laughs> Just make things fun. So now I'm going to click find and replace, and you'll see that cat is replaced with the string monkey. Okay, so we already know in PHP that we can use the um, str underscore replace function, and this will allow you to specify either an array or a single string to replace. Now, let's just open up my text editor and I'll demonstrate this for you. Okay, so str replace works by taking the string you want to replace uh, the data in, so the overall string, which in this case would be the text in this box here. Then what we'll do is we would search for the uh, string that we want to search for. So search. And in this case, it would correspond to this here. Then what we would do is we would specify what we want to replace it with. And that would correspond to this box here. However, this tutorial is dealing with the substring replace function. And this function works in a similar way, but has a combination of technique. And what we do in this um, function I have another video on this, so if you want to go back and refer to that, is we have um, a string, so our overall string once again. What you want to what you want to replace. So, for example, in this case, we would be supplying monkey in there because we're choosing to replace with monkey, and then we would choose the position, the start position, that we'd want to start replacing at. So in this case, uh, let's go back to the original example of the cat sat on the map. It would be 0, 1, 2, 3. We'd be starting at the third position. So we'd put a, a 3 in there. We'd then say how many characters we want to cut off and then add this string in. So in this case, it would be 3 also because we want to get rid of three characters starting from the third position and we want to replace that with the text monkey and this will be shifted along to a, a sort of um allow you you know to have more than one more than three characters so obviously monkeys at six char characters so in this example i use the substring replace function where i could have just used str replace now the reason i'm doing this is simply to demonstrate the use that substring function can have if you wanted to create um a script that did this you could just use the string replace function and you would be able to use it in the way i've already talked about however i'm going to go the long way around things in this tutorial and talk about how we're using the substring replace. It's just going to give you an idea of how it can work in your program. And maybe from this example, you can adapt and use it in your own uses when you feel like you might need it. So I'm going to get rid of uh, this code here. Um, and we're going to start from the beginning. So the first thing we want to do is create our form. So let's start creating that. We're going to use a method of post, and the action is going to be to the index.php again. So we're, we're uh, submitting this form back to index.php. Now let's refresh the page. 
we've got nothing on the page at the moment. So what we want to do now is create a text area in which users can enter a string of data. So let's create a text area and end that there. And what we also want to do is give it a name. And in this case, I'm going to call it text. I'm going to just add rows and columns. Uh, this is rows and columns just to make it a bit larger than it is by default. Now we want to break down a couple of times and we want to say search for, we break down again. We use an input type of text. So by now you should be comfortable with HTML forms and how they work and how they submit. So I'm not going to be talking about that too much. Uh, an input type of text and the name of this is going to be search for. Now we can break down a couple more lines and say replace with. So we're just simply setting up how our form is going to look. So the input type in this case is going to be text again, oh, text again, and the name is going to re be replace with. So we can break there as well. Now we want to put an, uh, a submit button. So I'm going to say input type equals submit. And the value is going to be find and replace. So let's go back to our, our page and refresh to see what we've got. Uh, let's cancel that and just submit the URL again. Okay, so we've got a form where we can now type uh, data in here. We can search for a string in here. And then we, we can replace it with a string. So all of this is string data, so it's pretty easy to work with. Now let's start validating our form before we allow uh, these functions that we've discussed to take place. So inside PHP, we're going to use two. We're going to use a nested if statement. First of all, we want to check if the form has been submitted. That's very important. We don't want to start processing data at the top of our page unless the user has actually clicked submit button and these are present. 